Hello, 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 YouTube fam. I've I've missed you guys. I've actually missed you guys. I'm very aware that my last vlogs have been just kind of like, you know, my day and I haven't really spoken to you guys. And there's still about three, maybe four of those in the works. But I just wanted to like, you know, have a real life, real time update. So the universe is kicking my ass. The universe has been kicking my ass for about two and a half weeks now and I don't know what to do about it. It wants me to do this one thing, right? I'm not gonna go into specifics. It wants me to do this one thing, but we're disagreeing on the timing and maybe I'm just not being brave enough. Like this, this thing terrifies me. This thing it wants me to do terrifies me. I'm scared, but I know I need to do it at some point. Otherwise I'm just gonna wake up every morning thinking about it and I'm so tired of that. But then it's stupid of me to think that anything's gonna change if I don't do something. I need to figure that one out. Apart from that, Look, can you tell I've not been working out because my arms are gone. Also, I can't even work out for the time being because was I not hypothermic the other day? I literally went out for a walk in the evening and it was cold, so cold. Got back and within like half an hour, shivering. And I'm just in my shower trying to warm up. And then I Googled and realized that was a bad thing to do anyways. I thought I was gonna die. I genuinely thought this is the end. I'm gonna die from hypothermia. And if I go to a hospital, there's COVID. I really thought I was done for. I was under about three, four different blankets. I've still got them on my bed. Like they're still out. That's how I slept, shivering under all these blankets. Couldn't even move. My limbs were like frozen into place. I had to defrost slowly. So now I stay warm. If I have to go outside, I've got my thermals. I'm not even taking any chances anymore. I'm really not, like I'm not here for it. Me and the cold just don't agree. I have a COVID test tomorrow. I'm so excited for it. This is the highlight for me. I can't wait. I really can't. Oh, it's a whole event. It's a motive. These are the motives nowadays. <laughs> Other than that, Disney Plus, yeah, has this um little mini docu-series. I think there are about five episodes and they're maybe like 15 minutes each, right? Which is called Inside Pixar. You get to see how people at Pixar, where they get information, information, where they get inspiration from and how they then kind of like design and build their characters and their stories. And it's just really cool and so heartwarming. And I feel so seen by all these creatives. I feel more seen by these creatives than I do by the people I know in real life. Take that as you will, make of that what you want. I've been trying to get back into my writing. So if you follow the blog, like I love you, I really do. I've been trying to get back into that. It was really good. Like my writing routine was really good in Portugal. Here it's a little bit harder. It's always harder when you're not surrounded by the correct energy. It's infinitely harder. Ooh, this is what I'm really excited about, right? Look, it's um, it's a five year memory book. A five, I can't even speak. See, these are side effects of hyperthermia, confusion. What happens is, oh my God, I literally opened it on my birthday. It's got five years, so the same day, right, over five years. So you go through the entire book, like front to back um, five times. So it's definitely not gonna look like this by the end of the five years. It's got gold plated sides. I was a bit morbid on Twitter. I was like, oh, bold of me to assume I'm gonna last these five years because I don't know. It wasn't even meant to be that morbid. It was a general like observation. Like, I don't know. The world might not be here in five years. Who am I to say I'm gonna be here in five years? If I am, then it'll be cool to see how life adjusts after all of this nonsense going on and what our new normal becomes. Maybe it'll become an historical piece. I've bought a bunch of books, but what else is new? I bought, should I just go through all of them with you? Yeah, let's do that, hold on. These are all the new additions to the family. What I know for sure by Oprah Winfrey. No clue what's in this book, excited to find out. Things you can only see when you slow down. I'm excited to read this one. I've heard it's got pictures. <gasps> I'm looking through it, it does. I was so excited, like I don't even want to peek in this one. I just want to be immersed when I read it. Poetry. Poetry. You guys know I love my poetry. So I've got Homebody and The Sun and Her Flowers. I love Rupee. I love her. I actually did read these over Christmas, but I just wanted my own copies because I want to reread them again. They're really... I love her short poems. It's the kind of book that you read very quickly and very easily. I want to go back and rediscover my favourite poems. This book 
fingerprints of the gods i did not expect to be so hefty this was a recommendation an intellectual detective story it directs probing questions at orthodox history presenting disturbing new evidence that historians have tried but failed to explain hated by some loved by others it has infuriated academic historians provoked passionate debate, inspired travellers with a new sense of curiosity about many of the world's most mysterious ancient sites and opened minds. When I get to travel again, I really want to go see the Dead Sea. I want to go see like Egypt, Jordan, that part of the world and vlog it for you guys, of course. Okay, back to my books. No rules, rules. This is about the Netflix culture. I read the Netflix culture document online and it was wild to me i was like do you know how much of this i used to do and got in trouble for other companies and you guys are telling me it's your entire like policy i've only read one chapter of this and so far it it's gripped me there's a concept that they describe in here and i'm gonna let you guys read it for yourselves but but it's something that i've always it's something that i've always put forward to other people and they don't take me seriously and now there's a book that says so again take that one as you will read chapter one let me know what you think Finally, 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 Amazon, yeah? Amazon are looking at my account thinking, what is wrong with this kid? Because I have ordered this book, I think four or five times in the last six months. They must be thinking, why Why does one person need so many copies of The Untethered Soul? I read The Untethered Soul, I think in May, don't quote me on that. I think it was May and it changed my life, right? It was life-changing. Everyone who speaks to me will tell you that this book is everything to me it's only a book you read when you need okay it's like when you need to discover this book you will so my sister needed to discover it i lent her my copy it's also not a book that you can zoom through you need to take your time with it so she's had it for a couple months now too i started feeling really off balance without it on my book case i was lost in the world i was genuinely lost in the world without this book also i felt like i was due a reread that's another thing about it like you will need to reread it and you'll understand why when you discover it I didn't feel like I could wait for her to finish it, but also at the same time, I didn't feel like I could reread that copy either. This is gonna sound like mumbo jumbo to some of you guys. It's a book you form a spiritual connection with. I knew my energies from when I first read that book, like that book held my pain. And then that book was a place of lightness for me, that specific copy. So those pages held me in it and now they're holding her energies in it. I can't even take that copy back. And also it would be selfish too because I feel like everyone just needs their own copy. So I wouldn't want to take it away from her and then she doesn't have it when she needs it again. Because you will, you will eventually need the untethered soul again. So those are all my new Amazon purchases. Me and Jeff, we're, we're best buddies. I know Jeff gets a lot of hate, right? I know he does, but Amazon under promise and over deliver. This last um, set of orders, actually, they were only meant to be coming in February for whatever reason, something about stock and whatnot. And they literally came in two days and that's not even prime or anything. That was just standard delivery. It made me so happy. I was so prepared to wait and be patient and thought, yeah, when they come, they come. Two days later, two days. But that's my little update. Um, I'm here, guys. I am um, going with the flow and i've just taken a step back that's what it is like none of this in this world belongs to me i don't own any of it i don't have any say in any of it whatever i need to do in this place i will i've just been humbled humbled right so i'm gonna go edit this and get it up as soon as possible i will see you guys either in the next vlog or the next kind of like little catch-up thing we do if you watch this far thank you like I love you. I really, 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 really do. I just do. I have so much love to give this world. That's all I want. To make people happy and to be happy. That's not a bad thing to want. I'm going to go then. Bye.